Welcome back to our channel. My name is Bree from 1134 Press and today I'm going to show you six simple ways to create hidden pockets in your junk journals. This is a new series on our channel called Junk Journal Basics where I'll cover basic techniques to help you get started in making your own journals. So without further ado, let's get started. To make the window pocket, start with folding your paper in four, then use a guide to trace your window. Use washi or painter's tape to hold your page in place to cut the windows. With your page unfolded and open, you can glue in your sheets of vellum. I'll link the vellum sheets that I'm using in the description below. To close the pocket, you can either glue on the sides or top of the page to make your pocket. I decided not to because I think I want to do more decorating on the inside of the window before I seal it off into a pocket. I'll show you that process of what it becomes in the next Junk Journal With Me episode. To make top flat pockets, fold your paper horizontally in half, then fold the top of your page about an inch in. Next, you'll fold the page in half vertically. Fold both short sides of your paper about a half inch in. Remember to fold towards the back of your paper and not the side with the top flaps poking up. Choose one side of your flap to fold and glue in, or you can cut it if you choose. Next, you will cut along the sides of your half inch fold, leaving the bottom section intact like so. Cut the corners of the remaining half inch folds at an angle. Then separate the top flaps by cutting them in the center. Glue down the side flaps and style your top flaps as you like. I chose to just cut them at an angle, but you could round them or use a decorative punch, or just leave them as is.
The last part is optional, but I ran a little glue through the center of the pockets. To create side flat pockets, you'll start by folding your paper in fours. Then fold the sides about an inch in, going in any direction that you choose. Then you'll cut half of the one inch side folds. Be mindful of which half you're cutting because this will determine the direction of your flap. Next, you'll glue along the short side of your paper. Be careful to not get glue on your flap. Fold your paper over and style the pocket flaps as you like. I'm sticking to the corner angles for this pocket. Et voila, the pocket is complete. This hidden pocket is even more simple than the others. Fold your paper in fours. I added a decorative punch on the sides, but you can leave it smooth. Then add glue to the short side and fold over, and your hidden pocket is finished. It's as easy as that. The longshore pocket is similar to the side pocket that I showed you previously. Cut a rectangle piece folded in half to the length of how deep you want your pocket to be. Use that piece to guide the fold for the flap and the second fold. You could just glue the open side down, but I chose to glue in these folded pieces of rectangles into my pocket so it will expand more. You can fold your little rectangle piece more to create an accordion that will make your pocket expand even more. For the short side, I just added glue along the side to create an opening in the top. I'm envisioning using this as a spot for a thin tag of some kind. To 
create the slit pocket, start with your paper folded into fours. Then cut as many or as little slits with your paper open. If you want your slits to be as opened as mine, just make two cuts close to one another and cut the short sides. Run glue along the perimeter of your paper to finish the pocket. Now I'm going to spend some time decorating my pages and pockets and I'll be sure to share that with you in the next Junk Journal With Me episode. Until then, remember to like and subscribe. We post every Sunday and Wednesday. Um, and if you recreate any of these projects, be sure to tag us on Instagram at 1134press. I want to see it and would love to share it. Until then, I'll see you. Bye!